Hey there, everybody. Sorry I'm late with this one, but I've been a bit under the weather, and you probably wouldn't want to hear me uh, croak and rasp my way through an installment. Fortunately, I'm sounding a good deal better now, so we can get this uh, show on the road. So here we are at the shrine, and you may have heard me uh, mention before that all the same critters are not always in the same place at the same time. That's because Aquanaut's Holiday Hidden Memories has eight different patterns of marine life, and they rotate every time you leave Kisira base. Uh, they rotate sequentially, so you don't have to worry about luck, but to find the right one, sometimes you do have to go back and forth through the base a few times. So we're going to set a Nasu here, because we're going to be hunting some big game in the Sea of Prayer. I'm just going to cut out here. I go back and forth to Kisira base a few times in order to get the right pattern. You probably saw the one I was at before had a lot of dolphins in it. Now the one I eventually settle on does not have a lot of dolphins, but it has a big, tall, swirling column of fish on the right side. That indicates that this is the pattern that has uh, one of our targets today. Not our number one target, but one that's worth registering. Just gotta look around a bit for it. Where are you, big fish? I see a sizable shadow there. That's what we're looking for. Indeed, a whale shark. A nice find, but not what we're looking for today in the end. Now you know you have the right pattern when you see this. Sharks everywhere. This indicates that we have found our target's entourage. The great whites are cool and all, but this is just the posse. We're looking for the, the boss here. Now he comes and goes from the map at a fairly leisurely pace, so sometimes it takes a little looking around. You know, he may not be right on the map at the specific time you're looking. So just uh, search around a bit in the shark-infested waters and you'll come across him eventually. Believe me, you're, you're not going to miss him when you finally find him. There we go. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, live fucking Megalodon! Is Kisira a swinging place or what? <laughs> and yeah, Dolphin really took that in, sh in stride. We've uh, found a species that's supposed to be extinct. Oh, I'll correct the database. Anyway, yeah, did you notice the size of the Mako in comparison to the Megalodon? It was like a fucking pilot fish. Ah, what a sight. And if you look at the mini-map, you'll see he's heading off the map in a direction that we can't go. So, we'll have to bid farewell to the Megalodon for now. But, you know, I really want another look. Oh, also, there's an Amberjack, but that's kind of anticlimactic now, isn't it? There he is again. Looks like the freaking Red October coming at us. Bonk. Fortunately, the mother of all sharks is as harmless as anything else in the game. So we can bounce the dolphin off it with impunity. Which is nice because it means we can get some close-ups without too much fear for our safety. Uh, incidentally, in order for the Megalodon to appear, you have to have found the fossil tooth. Which does not appear until the post-game, I believe. 
if you have not registered the fossilized Megalodon tooth, <laughs> what a grin, then the uh, Megalodon himself will not appear even in the correct pattern. Well, cheerful looking guy, isn't he? Well, we will just follow him to the end of the map one more time and call it a day. After this, there will be just one more video to go, that being the Aqua Library catch-up. And uh, after that, we'll finally be all done with Aquanet's Holiday Hidden Memories. It's been a long journey, but I hope an enjoyable one. And next time, I will not have to record from a uh, live system, so that should make things go a little quicker. And I know I'm going to be doing something shorter, so... I'm looking forward to it, and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.